Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to another uh, FIFA 14 squad builder. And today I'm bringing you guys a Spanish uh, hybrid squad builder, so that includes the Spanish league and uh, Spanish nationality players. So that means it can be players from outside of the Spanish um, main divisions. So my first player is my goalkeeper I always bring out, and it is Valdez, a fantastic goalkeeper. Bearing in mind this team's worth about 40 grand. Um, I had to make it on a budget for around that so people could buy it. And then my right back was Montoya. Um, again, very solid right back. Um, it's a shame he's not rare to be honest, but he's got 88 pace and he's a fantastic right back. Um, to go into the center of defense, we've got PK and then his partner is Ramos as well. You'll see him come out in a minute, but we have that um, perfect sort of Spanish link up at the moment at the back. Um, there we have Ramos as well, adding a bit more pace into the defense. Felipe Luiz is someone that I went with um, instead of Marcelo. I did try Marcelo out and I did try about five games with Marcelo in. Then realised how bad he was and how he was actually letting the team down completely. So tried out Felipe Luiz. Um, he doesn't push up as much as Marcelo, which helps out a lot. Uh, and then in midfield, we've got Modric, um, who, again, fantastic player. Uh, doesn't score many goals, but I don't really expect it from him. Uh, ben Yat, very good at free kicks. Um, you'll see him uh, take free kick in the clips that will come up after this. And then Isco as well, who is playing centre attacking mid. Um, he scores a lot of goals. In fact, I don't know whether he, he's might be, um, he might be the top goal scorer, I think, out of this team. I can't remember. Uh, my left winger, who will also be up there in the top goal scorers, is Inform Munayin. Um, very good player. Uh, absolutely fantastic player. Really cheap as well. I think he's about 10, 11 grand. Uh, around about that. On the right side we have uh, Jesus Navas again loads of pace. He plays for Manchester City but obviously he's Spanish so I will let him off and uh, that is why it's a Spanish hybrid. We've also got um, up front to finish the team off Fernando Torres playing striker um, again very good player even though he's not particularly good in real life he scores a lot of goals on FIFA and he's got some very good stats as well uh, for shooting. Moving on to the clips this is at the first game I'm going to be showing you guys um, we come up against a 5-2-2-1 formation team and um, again it was pretty sweaty, it was obviously a German team or a German league team should I say um, so we get off to an alright start I suppose with Jesus Navas playing through Munyain who gets a bit lucky and uh, manages to put it into the back of the net um, so there, were, there will be a few goals like that uh, coming up in the next few clips uh, I thought I'd show every single goal that I scored with this team uh, so Modric plays, uh, Modric plays it to Monayin, he plays it back, uh, he gets the ball back eventually and Torres makes it 2-0. So again that was in the space of what, 3 minutes or something, uh, we went and made it 2-0 in this game and um, really we're playing some fantastic stuff, a great ball and goalkeeper was out of position and it was a fairly easy goal for Torres. Um, some of the goals do get better as I go throughout the video, uh, Monayin again involved in this one. Uh, it comes back out to Torres, he plays it back to Navas who puts it into the bottom right hand corner. We do get a bit lucky there that Navas was still uh, onside due to his uh, centre back being out of position. Um, but here we go again, uh, Navas to Isco, Torres then finishes it off uh, and that made it 4-0 or something like that, 4-2 at that point in the game. So we had conceded two but we scored enough goals to um, get us the win in that match. Moving on to the second game that I played with this team and is an all-Brazilian team um, with Julio Cesar, uh, the Toronto version and uh, various other players. Um, pretty decent team, uh, very hard to break down. In the 35th minute though we had a corner, Torres got on the end of it and it went in the bottom left hand corner. Very good goal, a very good headed goal from Torres. Um, again I think getting his second goal is it now, um, out of all the clips I've shown. Torres goes through again gets what I think is his third goal um, out of the two games so far and uh, makes it 2-0 um, or two goals in this game that we've scored. Um, so we were playing some pretty decent stuff. It was 2-1 at half time in that game and um, we were holding on very well. We had a lot of pressure on us though. Counter attack in the 90th minute. Monayin um, gets a bit lucky again. It's very similar to the first goal I showed you and he makes it 3-1 and secures the win for us. So that was all down to a, a lovely little counter attack. It was a hoof ball over the top and uh, Torres headed it down. Monier and got a bit lucky and secured us the win. Moving on to the next game I have to show you. Um, it is a 3-4-1-2 formation that I'm playing against uh, with various different players. Negredo, it's like Spanish-ish team. Um, anyway, we get on the ball and Torres 
um, tries to find a cross. He does. He finds Navas, who doesn't quite get there. Money and eventually scores um, in the game, and that made it one nil, I think, at that time, or one all uh, in the twentieth minute. And um, yeah, pretty decent goal again from Munyain, who was doing very well in this match. Um, however, I think I've only got one goal to actually show you from that game. I don't know whether it was a loss or a draw in the end, I can't quite remember. But I thought I'd show you that goal anyway, uh, just because it wasn't too bad. Moving on to the next game we have. Um, the hardest game I've actually played looking on paper. Um, this is also the last game I play, um, so this is the last few goals I've got to show you. Team of the season, Daniel Sturridge, Inform Koscielny, Yaya Torre and a few others. However, we do get off to a fairly good start. Um, not in that we score, but I mean, well, we, we conceded very early on pretty much, but we managed to equalise with Torres um, making it one all, and then Modric goes through. Um, David Luiz, rubbish tackle really, wasn't expecting the sending off. He did get sent off, and uh, we got a free kick on right on the edge of the box. So there's only going to be one player to step up and take this, and that was Ben, yeah, it was going to be his first free kick. I took it quickly, hit the bar, and went over for a goal kick. So, very unlucky there, really. If I just put a bit less power on it and a bit more curve, maybe, it might have just snuck into the uh, left-hand side. However, it didn't, and um, we continue to try and get another goal. So, we have Torres here. We go sweaty. Navas scores uh, to put us back in front, I think. Um, and, again, we were scoring quite a few goals in this game. I expected it to be quite a high-scoring game due to the fact I think it was 2-1 after 21 minutes or something, uh, which isn't too bad at all. And um, then if you see the next clip that we've got, it is a corner that we have and uh, it gets whipped in by Modric who um, eventually finds PK who just heads it into the back of the net making it 3-1 after 32 minutes. Um, and after that I just thought I was going to completely dominate him, uh, but don't ask me how, at this point it was 3 all. Um, so I conceded two goals um, in quick succession I believe. Um, and we get a bit lucky here with Torres who gets um, the ball, picks it up finds Monyain who comes inside, holds it up for Isco, Isco puts it into the back of the net making it 4-3 um, with 58 minutes on the clock so um, I got myself back into the lead finally uh, I was desperate to try and get a winner for this game and to get as many goals as possible obviously, obviously to uh, finish this video off and um, here we do get very lucky, it makes it 5-3 with uh, another Isco goal uh, and then 6-3 with Isco again and then, you guessed it, 7-3, except this time with Jesus Navas. And uh, yeah, that was in the 90th minute, so we didn't have any more opportunities to score, unfortunately. It'd be nice to get some more, but that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I definitely rec recommend this team uh, if you have 40 grand to spare and you really like your Spanish teams with plenty of pace. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions as to any squad builders you want me to do, leave them in the comments. I'd be really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye.